Hi there folks, good morning. Welcome back to my channel, Expat Nam. That roar you can hear behind me is the ocean. I'm here up in Da Nang in central Vietnam. I've just moved up here from Saigon for the foreseeable future. And I'm enjoying a relatively rare, sunny, rain-free day at this time of year. So could change be imminent? I think possibly. So we're just coming up to Tet holiday in Vietnam, folks. In about two weeks time, we're gonna be uh, starting Tet, which is the biggest holiday in Vietnam. The country kind of shuts down. Everybody has a long deserved break and a rest. They go back to their hometown to spend time with their families. But it also means this is a time of change. And typically in Vietnam, we often see policy changes before or straight away after Tet. So we've been seeing a lot of news stories in the last couple of weeks talking about hinting towards change when it comes to visas tourism has not been doing so well in vietnam if you compare vietnam to its neighbors for example thailand uh, malaysia singapore they've all hit hit or exceeded their tourism targets for 2022 Viet vietnam is the only country that hasn't hit its tourism targets so there's a big push for visa change so I'm going to leave on the screen now, guys, a couple of the news stories that we've seen in the last week or so. And you see the first one here says, foreign tourists anticipate breakthrough in Vietnam's visa policy. As the Vietnamese government starts considering the realization of visa rules to boost a recovery of tourism, foreign tourists are rating for new entry policies. So yeah, that doesn't really tell us much, but it does tell us that the, the government is listening and you know they are perhaps considering some sort of response second story that popped up 21st of december vietnam tourism minister proposes granting e-visa to all markets so at the moment we have e-visas available to 80 countries but they're proposing to introduce that for all countries so not exactly great news if you're looking for longer visas which most people are but if you are from a country that does not allow you to get an e-visa at the moment then this would allow you to come in on a 30 day visa and then you can get a new visa by doing a visa run and keep doing that perpetually it seems at the moment. So what is the current situation now guys as of the end of 2022 we're coming up to the end of December now so what can you get visa wise in Vietnam if you want to visit right now or if you want to stay right now. I'm just going to put an infographic from VN Express, the national state sponsored newspaper here on the screen so you guys can see. So you can see that there's a visa waiver for 24 countries at the moment and what does that mean? So it means that these 24 countries can enter Vietnam with a, without any kind of visa requirement. So their, their visa needs are wavered, they can come in and they can stay for 15 days. Uh, you can see that uh, Chileans get 90 days and Asian countries apart from the Philippines which gets 21 days get 30 days so that's not too bad but the rest of the countries on the list there's not that many at the moment as you can see get 15 days if you want to stay a bit longer at the moment so if you want to stay for 30 days you can apply for the e visa and this is available to 80 countries at the moment but as i showed you at the start of the video folks this is being proposed to be extended to all countries whatever that means so watch this space i will update you straight away as soon as there's any big changes but as we are at the moment it's just the 80 countries where can you get a list of these 80 countries from so you go to the Sutnapkan website the immigration website and i will leave the link to that website in the description below folks don't go to any other website there's a lot of shady fake dodgy websites out there that will try to charge you 50 80 maybe even 100 dollars to get an e-visa you don't need that it only costs 25 us dollars you upload your passport information your photo and your payment and job done the process in time for the e-visa is around two to three working days some people get it quicker some people get it rejected because they don't like their photo so make sure you follow the photo requirements exactly when you're applying when you are applying for an e-visa via the soup can website which i've left below so as of now folks as of the end of december 2022 the three six and 12 month tourist visas that we had before covid have not yet returned watch this space there may be change soon as i've already mentioned at the start of this video fingers crossed they will be able to bring those visas back and that will help people who want to who are retired for example come back into vietnam spend a, 
a couple of months here and enjoy themselves in wonderful Vietnam. So what about longer visas? What about working in Vietnam? Things like that. So you may have seen my earlier videos, which I've done this year, where I kind of uh, complained about how long it took to, to get a work permit and a TRC temporary resident card, which allows you to stay in Vietnam for up to two years. So that took myself and my colleagues about six months this year to process that. Very, very annoying. But that seems to have kind of straightened out, calmed down a little bit more now. And I'm hearing from friends and colleagues here that they're processing work permits and TRCs in two to three months. So I believe the official processing time is 10 working days. It's never been 10 working days. It's always taken at least a month. But at the moment, I'm hearing two to three months. If you have all the correct documentation and everything that they ask for. If you don't, then it'll just get knocked back, knocked back and knocked back again until you give the right information. And it's, it's kind of annoying, it's quite tricky. Um, a lot of people are using lawyers to do this and I, in my opinion, that shouldn't be the case. It should be made you know, a lot more straightforward. We should be able to do it online, but there we go. That's the way it is. Okay, folks, I'm off to enjoy the beach now. It's a rare sunny day at this time of year in central Vietnam. Give the video a like if you haven't already. Think about subscribing if you're interested in all things Vietnam. Plenty more things to come to help you on your trip if you're planning a trip here or you're thinking about living here. Check out my channel, plenty of information for you to uh, get your head around and to think about what you need to bring, what you need to do before you come here. Merry Christmas. Have a great day, folks. Catch you later.